Hi everyone, today I will show you how to run a Spearman's correlation test uh, or the Spearman rank correlation. The Spearman rank correlation test is a non-parametric alternative for the Pearson's correlation. So this means that if you're dealing with data which um, there's no bivariate normal distribution, then you can use the Spearman rank correlation test. So this test you can actually always use uh, whenever you're not sure that the uh, the, the assumptions for the Pearson's correlation test have been met. So first of all, let's take a look at our data set and let's look at an example. Um, this is a strangler ficus tree, so ficus virens. This is a tree that grows in northeastern Australia. Uh, it's quite a big tree um, and what we wanted to know was if uh, the size of the tree in height, uh, if, it, if it corresponds with the size of the remaining patch of forest. So we looked at forest patches, we measured the size of the forest patch in hectares, and then we, we looked for the highest ficus tree. Uh, we measured the height of the highest ficus tree, and we wanted to know if there's some sort of relationship. So let's attach our data set. Um, and let's take a look at it first. We do that by clicking on the data set, so then we get uh, the table. So what we see in the table is that we have uh, 14 different forests that we looked at and then for each forest fragment we had the size of the fragment in hectares and then in each uh, we also measured the height of the highest tree in meters. Um, so for the Spearman rank correlation test we there, there, there aren't really that many assumptions. There's actually only one assumption, which is that your samples have to consist of related pairs. So what that means in our data set is that we have, uh, like I said, we have the 14 forest patches, and for each patch we have a related pair, which is forest size and also the highest tree. So there's some kind of a, um, interdependence between these two columns. And that's actually it. So you don't, we don't have to check the uh, normality assumption, uh, all the other assumptions for Pearson correlation, we don't have to check it. So Spearman correlation is very, very simple. So what it does is it doesn't measure uh, the strength and direction of linear relationship. It doesn't look at linear relationships. It's, it only looks at the association between two variables and it tells you something about the strength of this association and the direction. Um, again, same for Pearson correlation, also Spearman correlation, correlation uh, does not equal causation. So we're just looking at uh, if there's some kind of uh, association and that's it. So the, the code to run this test is similar to the code to run the Pearson correlation test. The only thing is that we have to identify the method and for the method we say it's a Spearman non-parametric uh, rank correlation. So we run this and what we get um, which is most important is of course the p-value. The p-value is much smaller than 0.05 so we can reject the null hypothesis. This means that there is some kind of an association between two variables. If we want to know if this association is positive or negative we can look at the row, the Spearman's row, which you also have to report in the paper which is 0.9. So it's very strong, um, there's a very strong correlation between our two variables. Uh, forest size and height of the highest tree. So this is what we want to report in the paper. So the p-value and then the Spearman row. Um, if we want to visualize the data, I attached some code. You can find this code also uh, in the link down below. So let's run this. You can just copy it if you want uh, and fill in, of course, uh, the correct variables. So this is what you get. Um, you can go much further than this. You can you can do whatever you want with the the Q plot code, uh, but for now this is enough. So if you look at if you look at the graph, we can clearly see that as the size of the forest increases, uh, so does the height of the highest tree. Um, and this is it for the Spearman correlation. Thank you.